church already that you guys have seen but um our service hasn't started my dad has something to do in the first service my service is the second service so my mom and i are going to chill in the car till it's time this is nine jesus this is 9 16. our service is 10 30 so i'm literally going to be in the car for like an hour so i'm going to just take off my shoes <laughs> and like stretch and just relax because obviously Oh, and then I carried bread, so I'm going to eat. I knew this was going to happen. I knew we were going to wait, like either after the service or before the service. So since I don't have data to like text people or be on Twitter scrolling aimlessly, I brought my tab. Um, as you guys saw in last the last vlog, I, I'm reading a book. So I'm, I'm an avid book reader. It's just that sometimes I get like when I read one book and it's not good, I just stop reading for like a while because it's like why are you not good? And then it just makes me not want to read no more. So I'm reading a book right now. I'm almost done, but it's like frustrating me. You know when it's very like I don't know why um writers, it's very female writers make the women so annoying. Like why do you make they make the women so annoying? Like I see, like why would you do that? Like why are you jumping into so many conclusions? Even if I know in real life that thing happens, but like yeah, I'm reading a book for fantasy. I don't want to read real life. I want to read fantasy. What is that for you to do? You don't think it exists? You can never exist. All right, so my service is over, and all of a sudden I have a pimple on my face. Out of nowhere because i don't think i noticed this in my i'll check previous footage but yeah i had to wear a mask too. probably it's from the mask or something so I'm really tired i'm hungry i don't know my my blood sugar is low like i was saying yesterday my blood sugar is low i can feel it that my blood sugar is low yeah oh that was that that hit because it's like blocked focus yes yeah, so. i had to do gymnastics today i don't know if i should add this to the vlog i don't know if i should say it because he wants me to watch the video this like I, I don't avoid people i don't i don't go out of my way to avoid people i don't but i would rather not interact right i don't know i'm just this kind of shy person i have this mentality that People, when I pass people, like they speak about me or they be like, mm, that girl or something. Like, I don't know if I'm the only person, I don't know if it's like it's part of my anxiety. So, I always feel like people are like looking at me and talking about me, or like, and even if not actively talking about me, but like they'll mention a statement, like, oh, see, or like, like, you get that kind of thing. And it's like, we're conditioned that if we see somebody, we have to greet. Um, and yeah, like, it's not like they're, I, they're my enemies, they're not my enemies. They're not my friends either. Well, acquaintances that I've known each other since I was born, probably. <laughs> so like my whole life. But it's like mm, I'm like this kind of awkward person. Like I would stand under the rain to avoid having to stand beside someone under a shade because I don't want to speak to them. I don't know if that's extreme. That's that's actually extreme. Wow, you stand under the rain. Wow. <laughs> okay, maybe not under the rain, but like yeah, I would. It has it it takes a lot for me to willingly walk up to somebody and like not like not to speak to the person yeah not really with the mindset of oh, I want to speak to this person but like just walk up to someone that oh I have to stand beside and it's just like I hate awkward situations a lot like I would rather not be in a situation that is really awkward so like I had to pass some people like it, initially okay I passed I, I I passed this first set of people without knowing that they were there okay no I saw them. And like there's a there's an easy part let's say there's an easy part to come straight through this side like this side of me and then there's like a tight like really tight corner on this side and like i literally went to the tight corner and squeezed myself past like in a way i'm not gonna pass you guys and i have to be like hi good afternoon or something like it's just weird it's weird i'm trying to be as vague as possible so like nobody can really guess or they well they would know because obviously they would know that this is this one that i'm filming this video anyways so and then the next time i had to pass they were like instead of there were two guys initially the next time i had to pass they were like six um my okay mm, i can't make sure that I, I was about to mention something that would like trigger everybody and like make everybody know who like people that know me in person um 
in Port Harcourt. Anyways, yeah, so they were like sticks and I was like, hey. And then they were at this side where like the corner that I passed. So like I had to pass this side, but like they were facing this side. So it was like I would, they would literally see me pass. But like I just, I was, I mean, when my nose was, I didn't put it down. So I just walked and like looked straight. <laughs> I, I looked straight, I was like, no movement. My eye does not move to the left or the right, it's like straight, like I have a destination. And I've been sitting in the car since, and I'm hungry. I need something to drink, but I'm going to sit here until they leave. Or on, like, and I can't see, and I don't want to come out and check because then somebody can be looking this direction and they see me check, and I quickly run back into the car and it's like, ah, why did they get hide? That kind of thing. Let nobody now see me and be like, see that as an invitation to come and speak to me. That's also one thing about me. Like, I'm in the car, like, literally on my own. Nobody else, I don't think anybody knows I'm here except my mom and the person that owns the car park beside. Like, because I don't want, like, anytime church closes, especially when my siblings are not around, the first thing I do is, like, get the car key from my parents, run back to the car and sit down. Like, sit down in the car. I can't even lock all the doors and just be inside, not breathing. <laughs> just because I don't want people to know that I'm here because I don't like to interact with people. So, as I was filming that part of that video, as you don't know that, there's a classroom here. Like, see that classroom? People were inside. And I don't know how loud my voice is. I don't know how, like, it carries. Like, I'm in the car and everything, but, like, oh, shit. I feel like I want to die. That was so embarrassing. And then they came outside and I was like, hi. Because it's like, Jesus Christ. And I feel like there are more people inside there, I don't know. But, yeah, I was saying that my social anxiety comes up when I see someone I like. New people. New people in the crowd. New people with people that I know. New people with people I know in the crowd. <laughs> it's just like, when I see my friends, I'm, I don't have social anxiety. But when new people are introduced into the equation, or when feelings are introduced into the equation, then I get social anxiety. So if I like hey, you so I'm literally so tired, I can't shout. <coughs> we just got home. We went to the gas time refilling plant and the the person at the gate said that nobody was around like people didn't come so then we had to come back home we entered the wrong street so we had to find our way out i was the one driving so let's find our way out we found our way out because i knew the road apparently because i i had when i was learning we had passed that route so like when once we reached the point i was like wait i know this place and then i was able to find my way then we go home, it's really hot, the weather is really hot and I'm just really tired, I just want to rest so look at how I sound like I'm so out of breath, I just rinsed my face because I was sweating so much so I had to rinse my face, my neck is still still really hot so I'm going to increase my fan but I reduced it because of the sound and the video so we weren't able to refill the gas um, so we're going to use it like that and hopefully we can do that tomorrow um, I'm going to work tomorrow, that's true so I need to pick out an outfit for tomorrow. Figure out what I'm going to wear tomorrow then. Probably later in the day because like right now I have a very 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 severe headache. Like just want to rest so keep back to you guys. I don't know if this is the end of the video, but in case this is the end of the video, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Hope you guys liked it. Um and liked the insights into my head and my life. Um don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications and share, share, share this video with your friends and family. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye. I look a mess. But like a beautiful mess.